All right guys, Blitz here. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC so you guys can play Fortnite and it's all done wirelessly so you guys can see I am moving around. Let me just show you guys proof. There it is, I am on, officially on the PC. So this does work really well and like there's no lag whatsoever with the wireless. So I think for the beginning of this video, I gotta flex on my 90s because who knows, maybe uh, some phase members are gonna recruit me when I flex on them. So let me just do this real quick. Oh crap, look at this. This is on PC, look at this, 144 hertz refresh rate. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even have one, this is like 60 hertz, but uh, I'm probably not gonna get recruited, but yeah guys, let me just show you guys how, how to do it. It's actually really easy. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so before the video starts, if you guys want to see more PS4 tips just like this, make sure you guys leave a like on the video and also subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. And this is the wireless way. So it's actually really easy to do. And the only thing you really need is this input mapper right here. So this is how the website looks like. I'll put a link to it down below. So once you're here, just click download. And this is legit, guys. I use this all the time and it all works. So yeah, just click download. Make sure you save it to your desktop. And this is how it looks like. So the first thing we need to do is actually pair this controller to the PC. It's actually really easy. So if you guys look here, this share button and PS button, you just want to hold them down until you see the blinking light. So I'm doing it right now. So it should pop up. All right, so there it is. So now it's ready to pair. So from here, we just go to start and then go to settings and then devices, add Bluetooth. And then it should pop up right here. There it is, wireless controller. So just click it and then it's going to start pairing and then it is paired. So now we can just exit all this. And then from here, we can just open up input mapper. All right, guys. So this is how uh, input mapper looks like. So once you're here, uh, you want to go to profiles and then make a new profile and then you guys should see the screen so from here you actually want to press the PS button once and then just wait for like a pop-up to pop up somewhere like right here all right so there it is and then just press it again and then it should uh, start connecting so you can see there's the icon and then for me my controller actually turned green so there it is so once it's like that we can now just uh, minimize that and just open up fortnite and then from here should uh uh fortnite should detect this as a controller so i'll show you guys how it all works so yeah i can see i am moving with the controller everything is working like there's no lag whatsoever so I'm actually gonna move my mouse so you guys can see now it acts like a PC. And then as soon as I uh, move around, it says controller. So, so if you guys go to your options, this is where you can configure like certain button layouts for you. So this is where you go. So I'm actually gonna just go into creative. Dang. 